Saturn in Pisces. In this video, I'm going to be discussing Saturn in Pisces, everything you need to know about this placement and how to master this placement. All right. Now, before I begin, just a reminder, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe if you've liked my previous videos. If you go on to like this video and you'd like to be notified of my future videos and future posts. All right. Saturn in Pisces. Let's get started. All right. Now, when you have Saturn in Pisces, this is similar to having Saturn in the 12th house because Saturn, because Pisces rules the 12th house. OK, so what you want to do is you want to study Saturn in the 12th house, even if you have your natal Saturn in another house. Like, for example, let's say you have your natal Saturn in the fourth house. Study that. That's fine. But you also want to study natal Saturn in the 12th house because Pisces rules the 12th house and this applies to you as well. OK, so make sure you study Saturn in the 12th house, even if that's not your natal placement okay because that information applies to you as well this person this saturn in pisces native in order to mature and become a true adult they have to master what pisces represents see saturn is all about maturity becoming an adult what you need to master let's talk about what pisces represents pisces represents being a dreamer intuition belief imagination being impressionable and inspiring others spirituality okay so it's important for you to master these things or even if you don't master all of these concepts it's important for you to master one of these things because you have your natal saturn in pisces and this is what pisces represents it represents being a dreamer intuition belief imagination being impressionable and inspiring others and spirituality all right so it's very important that you master these things now, this person, when living out Saturn in Pisces in a healthy way, you're a dreamer that adds structure and practicality to your dreams. You master being inspirational and taking advantage of impressionable minds for constructive and positive reasons. You master spirituality. OK, so going back to the first point, you're a dreamer, meaning you have these dreams. You just have this dream that's deep inside of you. So what you do is you add structure and practicality to that dream because Saturn is structure and practicality. You master being inspirational. You're an inspirational person. You take advantage of impressionable minds, but for constructive and positive reasons. So you get involved with people that are impressionable, but you take advantage of their impressionable nature for constructive and positive reasons. And you master spirituality. This is when you're living out Saturn and Pisces in a healthy way. Now, when living out Saturn and Pisces in a negative way, you're an escapist. You're delusional and deceptive. You have a problem with drug and alcohol abuse. You take advantage of impressionable minds and you abuse your authority over them. You have dreams, but you add no structure or real plan to them. All right. So this is when you're living out Saturn in Pisces in a negative way. You want to make sure you're not being an escapist. Make sure you're not being delusional and deceptive. Make sure you don't have a problem with drug and alcohol abuse. Don't take advantage of impressionable minds and abuse your authority over them. Have your dreams, but add structure. Don't just have these dreams, but no real plan. Now, there are fears and insecurities surrounding your dreams and being able to materialize them into something real overcoming escapism drug and alcohol abuse delusion and laziness okay so saturn has to do with your fears and insecurities so your fears and insecurities have to do with your dreams you you're you're insecure about the fact that i have a dream how do i materialize this dream how do i overcome escapism drug and alcohol abuse being delusional and being lazy all right so you have to overcome this you absolutely you absolutely can materialize your dreams in into something real and you you can absolutely overcome these low vibrational Pisces like energy, which includes escapism, drug and alcohol abuse, being delusional and lazy. OK, so overcome these fears and insecurities. The father is seen as Saturn tells you how you see your father and the experience you had with your father. The, the father is seen as a man that is Pisces like. He's elusive, possibly deceptive and delusional. On the bright side, he's seen as a man that is inspirational, empathetic and compassionate. OK, so this can manifest in two ways. Either he's elusive, hard to get a hold of, deceptive, delusional, or he's seen as a man that's inspirational, empathetic and compassionate. Celebrity examples that also has also have Saturn and Pisces. R. Kelly, Robert Downey Jr. and J.K. Rowling. Now, with R. Kelly, we see this in both a positive and negative way. 
R. Kelly was very inspirational, okay? He added a lot of structure and practicality to his dreams. His dream was to be a successful musician. So he was able to add that structure to his dream. Now we saw this in a negative way. When I My point when I said you take advantage of impressionable minds and you abuse your authority over them. He abused his authority over children. As we know his dark history with sexual abuse with, with minors and, and that types of things. Okay, So, we, so that's, that's what's funny is that he did both. He expressed it in a healthy way. But he also expressed it in a very negative way. He was an escapist as well. He was very delusional. He thought that he could continue doing these vile and horrible things with children forever and he wouldn't eventually be held accountable. And he took advantage of these impressionable children and he abused his authority. Now, with Robert Downey Jr., we saw this problem with drug and alcohol abuse. He, a, a, anyone who knows a little bit about Robert Downey Jr., he has he's had a a very light almost lifelong struggle with drug and alcohol abuse and this is something that he's really had to overcome jk rowland she absolutely added structure and practicality to her dreams she wrote this whole she wrote one of the most successful stories ever and it really was just based off the imagination it, it was just something that she came up in her mind and it went on to become one of the most successful book series in history. I mean, that is true Saturn in Pisces, mastering the imagination, adding structure and practicality to the imagination. OK, so this is how we see this with these three celebrities. All right. So that's Saturn in Pisces. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think and take care.